for day two, one, two of the seven day inky art challenge with my friend over at the Dormouse's desk. So be sure to check her out. Links down in the description box below. Um, I'm excited to dive in. So let me grab my bowl of inks here and let's pull out today's ink. Which one am I feeling? This one. <laughs> Esterbrook Cobalt Blue. I'm kind of excited about this because I don't think I have an Esterbrook ink and it already has a little swatch color on the top so that saves me some time too. Awesome. I'm just going to grab my dip glass pen here and get some ink on the nib and then we'll go ahead and get this swatched out. I don't know why I started with the lines and the little dots, but I just thought it was fun. So I'm gonna just continue doing all my swatches that way. We'll get a little bit of the ink on the paintbrush here and then we'll paint it on. It's a beautiful, lovely, deep blue. And I'm sure this is definitely one that I would use in an everyday write pen. I just love the way blue ink looks written on a page. So there we go. Um, let's go ahead and set this off to the side to dry and grab our other papers. We'll start with the Nemesine pad here and just paint on a little bit of that blue. Ooh, it's kind of interesting how it's um, how it's going onto the page here. There's like that little loop in the top corner there that was lighter blue. Let's try it on the Rhodia. Again, look at that. It did the same thing. Interesting. Huh. You can kind of see right there at the top. It's like pulled away from the rest of the ink. It's kind of cool. We'll see how it dries. And then here is our Tomoa River Paper, 52 GSM, little pad from Galen Leather. And then we'll set that off to the side and give them some time to dry and check back in. All right, thanks to the power of technology, we are back and it's all dry. And look at this luscious blue. Oh, it's so beautiful. Um, we have a little bit of shading here, no um, sheening or anything like that. Here it is on the Nemesin. You can see how you do have some of those color variations. There's hints of uh, light pinkish kind of coming through um, that bled through. But again, I did put the swatch on pretty heavy. Here it is on the Rhodia. Um, you can see a little bit more of the shading there. And again, just a little bit of bleed through, but like I said, I put it on pretty heavy. Here there is a little bit of sheening, but I think that's just because there was so much concentrated ink there when it dried. Um, but you can see lots of it. And look, look at that, there's some of that um, cyan blue that they use to mix up into the ink. So let's check out, here is our chromatography. Definitely lots of that pink, um, tiny hint of greenish, um, and then a lot of that cyan there at the top. So it'll be fun to play with this and see if we can pull out all of those colors within our painting today. Let's get inky. As always, I'm gonna start with some masking tape, board around the edges, throw on some music, and check back with you at the end. So please enjoy.
I got a little blue there up on that corner and I'm just gonna take some white acrylic ink and paint over the top of that. You could leave it if you wanted, but you know, let's just cover it up a little bit. So here we are. Um, you can see some of the blue, but it turned out okay. Our finished piece, loving how we got some of those pinks and that cyan to come through. And then we have the deeper colors in the background. Let's pull that chromatography so you can kind of see how those colors play into our um, painting today. So we got those pulled out within like the water and then within the sky around the moon. Um, I really enjoyed this one. And even with the little mishaps of the mountain and the stars, like it all came together beautifully. So yes. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. Be sure to pop on over to the Dormouse's desk and see what she painted with today's ink. And I'll see you back here tomorrow. But until then, happy creating.